So they went out. And sorry, the enemy wasn't approaching, but they got they, they had news of the enemy approaching. And so the time of lunch came and the soldiers wanted to eat. And he sent out this young man, his name was Muhammad, to go out and prepare the meal. And then when about one or two hours passed, no food had arrived. Abu Qudama said, so I went searching for him and thought what had kept him so long. And when I arrived, I found the pot was boiling in front of him and he was asleep beside it. I said, Subhanallah, he must be very tired because most active amongst all the men, he would race after this one and race after that one, help this person, help that person. He was very active during the day. I became amazed how, how agile this young boy is, how enthusiastic this young man is. And so I thought, I felt sorry for him and I thought maybe he needs some rest. So I did not interfere and I did not disturb him. And I began to prepare and finish and complete off the meal myself. But as I was stirring, he said, I heard a small sound coming from him. So I looked immediately at him and all of a sudden, I see his face begin to smile. He's asleep. After a few moments, the smile grew. A few moments later, his teeth began to show. And then even a few moments later, he began to laugh in laughter and giggle. As he was laughing, his laughter began to intensify until finally he awoke. Suddenly. And he saw me in front of him with open eyes. And his smile immediately failed. Um, immediately faded away as though he was shocked that I was there in front of him and he did not want me to be there as though he had a secret and then I said and then he he, he got up immediately and he said yeah Ammi, I'm sorry I didn't know that I had gone to sleep please you don't have to prepare the food please let me Abu Qudama said no you sit down Wallahi I will not let you do anything until you tell me why were you laughing I said I was laughing said, yes, you were laughing. Your laughter could reach a few meters away. Since you saw me laughing and you won't let me go, I will tell you what I was dreaming about. But you have to keep it a secret between you and I. For if I tell you, maybe Allah will not accept my reward of coming here. Maybe it will be insincere. He said, please tell me. He said, I'm listening with open ears. I really want to know what he was seeing in his dream. And then the young boy said, I slept and then I noticed as if the last hour had come. The world ended. And the day of judgment came. Everybody was looking up into the sky. And then all of a sudden, I hear a voice calling out, Grab Muhammad and take him to paradise. Amongst everyone, a light came to me, a light, and took me away. And then there was a man next to me, a very handsome man. His light emanated from his face till it reached the far corners of what I could see. And he took me into Jannah. And I asked him, who are you? And he said, I am one of your servants, which Allah has made for you in Jannah, in your palace. And he said, where are you taking me? This is when he began to smile. He said, I am taking you to your wealth and to your family and to your belongings and possessions in your palace in Jannah. And so his smile grew more. And then when he reached the great gates and the great doors of his large possession, he said, I cannot enter here. For you have women inside and I am not allowed to set eyes upon them. His smile grew more. And so he entered. He said, and then I found many beautiful women. Their light was so great that I thought if they were to relieve, to see, to show themselves on earth, they would light the whole earth. And they grabbed my, my arm and took me away. And I thought, are you my wives? And they said, no, 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 we are just your servants. But you have your princess waiting inside Al Khidr, inside the tent, reclining on her silk sheets, waiting for you. And so I entered and all of a sudden I see a woman which almost 
made my heart escape, made my soul escape from my body. And I said to her, who are you? And a smile grew when his teeth began to show. And she said, I am the one whom Allah promised you. I am your wife in Jannah. I am the one who Allah gift wrapped for you. And no mu'min knows what Allah has gift wrapped for them in Jannah. Even for the women. And then he said, he came to extend his arm and touch her. And then she grabbed his arm and returned it back gently. And she said to him, No, Ya Muhammad, not now. I ask Allah to save you from any bad act. I am not yours yet. And it is because you have saved yourself from haram acts with other women, Allah gave me to you. So keep yourself pure, Ya Muhammad. وَمَوْعِدُنَا غَدًا عِنْدَ الْفُطُورِ our, our meeting is tomorrow and we shall break our fast together because Muhammad used to fast every day, one day on and one day off. And then he said, when she was speaking to me, I began to laugh and I really wanted to approach her and she would say, No, Ya Muhammad, not now. No, Ya Muhammad, not now. And I began to laugh and laugh until I woke up. That is my story, Ya Ammi Abu Qudam. Please keep it a secret between you and me, otherwise my rewards will be gone. He said, it's my secret. He said, Abu Qudam, I kept my eyes watching this young boy. The next day, the army, the enemy arrived. It was fierce. And we attacked and charged. I looked behind me where Muhammad was supposed to be standing. And all of a sudden, he was right in the front. And he did not have any experience in fighting because he could not hold his sword. Muhammad had deceived Abu Qudam in saying to him he has experience. He said, I could not reach him anymore. But he was right in the front line. And he would call out the message of his mother. Ya ibni, idha laqeetahum. If you meet them, then do not run away and show them your back. He would call out like that. Allahu Akbar! And he would fight whoever would fight him. He would fight whoever would hold the sword against him and against the Muslims. He would protect that person and then that person. Until finally Abu Qudama said, Dust grew so much in my eyes and I lost sight of him. I did not know where he was. Finally, Allah gave us victory because we were fighting for a noble cause. And at the end of the victory, we started looking for our martyrs. And then I just wanted to find Muhammad, the young boy. I did not care about anyone else. I kept searching and searching. When all of a sudden I see at a distance, a young boy holding out his arm and saying, Ammi, Ammi, and I could barely hear him. So I ran to him as fast as I could. And I grabbed his beautiful head as though he was my son. And I looked at a face, at a face that was once youthful, at a face that was once beautiful, at a face that was so handsome, and a body that was so young and strong. The horses had trampled him. The wheels had crushed his bones. His face, his face was indescribable. And he was holding a piece of his shirt which was ripped. And he was taking deep breaths, dying. And then Abu Qudama held his face and he